are in España, near USC. Best thing about USC. of our Pavorito series and we are in España near USC and actually guys this is my second time coming here for Pavorito I've actually been here already two weeks ago wearing exactly the same outfit and I went to four different places and ate amazing good food but there was some technical difficulties in the filming process that we weren't able to use the clips so we're doing refilming here again in España. We're starting fresh. We're gonna be getting recommendations again from interviewing people around here. They recommend the same place that I got to go last time. We're gonna go again. And if it's a new one, I go on a new one. So yeah, we're gonna explore. But while going around, I also explained my experiences when I came here in the first shooting. Let's see if it's still as good or I can get better ones or if it's gonna be worse. Let's go, España. Can I ask you a little question? One question. Because I'm looking for pinaka masara. Yeah, favorito. Can you recommend best pakain around here? My go to place is some treats. The ang pao? Yeah. Ah! The one with the some like shawmai. There's a variety of shawmai. Oh, wait. So, is this Ang Pao? No, I think. Oh! I'm not sure. It's just there in the pita. Do you know Ang Pao? Not really. You don't know Ang Pao? No. Ang Pao. Ang Kong. Ay, Ang Kong. Sorry, sorry. Well, Ang yeah. Kong. You know Ang debate Kong? debate in the US, Ang Kong versus Dim Sum Treats. But I usually tend to like lean over San Dim Sum Treats. Ah, so it's always the debate between Ang Kong and Dim Sum Treats. Ang Kong and Dim Sum Treats. And you're saying Dim Sum Treats is yeah. better. Variety is better. Why is it better? It's more having choices. What about the quality and the price? I think Ang Kong is a lot cheaper than Dim Sum Treats. 20 pesos lang ang difference sila. So oh. I think it's better than what year are you? Graduating fourth year. Are you graduating now? Yeah. What's your major? Industrial biology. Industrial biology. Best thing about being a USC student. Um. <laughs> Best thing about USC. The people. Wow. People. Yeah. The teachers, the friends. Well, the faculty and the people and the students here, of course. I think mm. they're the best thing in USC. So USC yeah, is yes. the best. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, okay. So I chose here. Oh. Are you a student? Yes. Yeah, yes. We are. Can I ask you one question? What major? Medicine. Medicine. Oh, medicine! <laughs> yes. The stereotype we have, medicine students, is like you can really cure people, and yeah. then you know a lot about those like medical no, words. Uh -huh. Is that true? Yeah, we have to know that. Yes, that What's the best thing about being a medicine student? I get to learn much about the human body and know how to treat. Wow. Uh, this so your dream is to become a doctor. A doctor. Quack. doctor. Quack. Yeah. What kind of doctor? I'm not quite sure. Not not sure. Not, not sure. sure. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah. It's your third year in this school. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you must know the food place as well. Uh -huh. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for sobrang masarap. I know a place for you. You know, you know? Yes, dim sum okay. treats. <gasps> oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is my second time getting the dim sum treats. Second time. It, okay. It's better than Ang Kong? Yes, oh. it is. <laughs> it's better Actually, than Ang Kong? we're in disagreement with that. <gasps> I, I think Ang Kong is better. You recommend Ang Kong? You recommend dim sum treats? Yeah. Why do you think Ang Kong's better? I know that they make their shawmai from scratch. Oh. With dim sum treats, you said, or shawmai. For me, it tends to have a lot of extenders. <gasps> Ah, so it's a bit more a lot upgraded. Of going up ah, there. so why is it better? I just like it. Are oh, you yeah, like it? Yeah, I just like, like it. it. Okay, so some treats, Uncle. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll go to both. And that's the best thing, talaga, in here yes, uh, for us. Yes. For you, okay. Yeah. Wait, are you guys students here? Yeah. What year? Fourth year. Fourth year. So what's the difference between freshman students and then graduating students? So I think the graduating students are already very chill. A very chill yeah. now. Like I'm done with this school now. Yes. Like I'm gonna be leaving this place now. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm done with you all. Like yeah. that kind of vibes. Ah. I'm looking for pinaka masarap ng pagkain place around here, España. With our drink. Oh, it could be drink. Love life. Yeah, love light. Love light. Uh, mango gay ham. It's a shake. Mango it's a shake. Supreme. That's a famous one, yeah. right? Yeah. Everyone always has it. Yes, yes. Love light yes. and then mango scream is yeah. the name. Yeah. Oh, have you tried it a lot? Yeah. Yes. Is it really good? <laughs> yes. The best? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like what makes it the best? It's the uh, extra toppings. It has marshmallows and stickles wow. and everything else. Love light. Yes. Yeah. Wow, the name is so... Ang Kong versus Dim Sum Tree. You know what, guys? I actually went to Ang Kong na. That's oh, oh, thank you! Thank you.
Did some treats first, and then I'm gonna go to Hong Kong to compare and contrast. And I never tried dim sum treats as well. Oh, I miss Hong Kong already. <coughs> Hong Kong was so good. I don't know what they're talking about. Like a lot of stuff are going on in dim sum treats now. So let's see what they're talking about. Wow, really? Again? Even when I first came, I really felt it. Looking at the food stalls and stuff, each one that you can see around, they look all so good. So trendy and very hip. It's really foodie street. And then I'm gonna go to Love Light for Graham. Ah, Graham! Graham! Graham. <laughs> That's the one you wanted last time, right? Yeah, last time when I came, I really wanted to try the mango Graham, but we couldn't. So I'm excited for that. Wow, the line's so long. Oh my god. So I guess dim sum treats is really famous. Can I ask you a question? You guys are from FEU? Yeah. yeah. What year? Grade 12. Yes. Oh. High uh, school students. Uh, high yeah. school students. And then you guys are waiting for dim sum tree. Yeah. Because yes. I just got recommended from many people that this is the best. Yeah. Is it really the best? It's our first time, time trying. Your second time? Yeah. yeah. First time. First time. First time? Yes. Second time. Yes. So you're bringing them here? Yes. All right, guys. After more than 30 minutes of waiting, we're here. And I got two of their best sellers, the Japanese shomai. It's my first time seeing a shomai wrapped in seaweed and then shark spin. Wow. The kamasi is good. The soy sauce. Chili oil. I'm just like making the best sauce ever. One to one to one. This was like 115 or something like that for the whole meal with yang chow. So first of all, it's really good. It's like a very well-made, well-fried show my type. Its seasoning is very strong, so it really hits hard. So you definitely eat rice with this. The fried rice is good too. Tastes like a whole dish, but different though. I never tried this kind of fried rice in other show my sauce. And then the shark spin show my, it's a bit salty, but its texture is really good. It's very crunchy, very crispy on the outside. Very a lot of like layers of crispiness, and then inside the filling, it's very juicy. And then there's this like scent that they used. I don't know what it is. It's like some Chinese flavor. And then their other bestseller. I don't know what the Japanese shomai is made out of. Oh, it's just normal shomai, but it's wrapped in seaweed. And there's this, what is this thing? Crab stick. Very unique, this one. It's very unique. Like the seaweed flavor is really strong. It's like a whole new dish, kind of. I really get it when they said one prefers Hong Kong, one prefers dim sum treats, and the one who preferred this really said a lot of things are going on. I can understand what she meant by that. Like a lot of things are going on in each show. My, I think like the season, it's quite salty for my, my taste, honestly speaking. But that's why you need to have it with rice, and that's why their rice is also very special. I think how I remember Hong Kong to be, it's really more simple. Here it's like more flavors, more scents added. The flavor is really definitely much more rich, but it depends on your preference. Wow, dim sum treat is really <laughs> famous. Anyways, guys, we're now gonna go to the second dim sum place, which I've already been to, Hong Kong. We're here at Hong Kong. As you can see, it's kind of like cool, right, this building. It's like foodie place, foodie. Flying again. We came down to eat downstairs. In their case, it's different talaga. Only six meals. So after another more than 30 minutes of waiting, guys, we have to wait so long in here in España. We're here in Hong Kong, and I got two of their best sellers, fried dumpling and the quail egg show mine. As I mentioned, this is the place that I already visited when I first came here in España for the first shooting. So I know it's really good. First of all, the price. For this whole set, it's 65, including rice already, fried dumpling. I also made the sauce, na. Mm. Mm. It was my second time trying this, right? It's as I remember it. It's as I remember it. The fried dumpling, this wrapper, it tastes already different from other wrappers. It tastes like nachos, corn chips. 
so good, just the crust. And then inside, it's like really, you can really tell it's homemade. It comes in chunks of pork, I think, and also shrimp. This is really the fundamental of dumpling. Very well-made dumpling kind of. And they're really oil, way more spicy. And I really have to say, I'm realizing during this series that Filipinos are really good at eating spicy food. This fried dumpling, very well fried. It's not even oily. There's no oil. You know when fried food are fried well, it's not that oily. Fried dumpling is really good. And then we have shomai. But this has got quailed egg in it. Yeah, really good. Even the way the shomai is wrapped, you can tell it's homemade. And honestly, like 65 pesos for all of this, that's very, very good deal. As you can see, like the way the pork and the shrimp is grounded, it's not like grounded completely. It comes in chunks, so you can feel the texture of the meat more. You can also taste it more. Even if this place is very mura, it doesn't taste like it's really mura. They're really high quality. Like the kind of vibe that they would sell in Binondo or like in those high-end Chinese restaurants. I really come here and take out a bunch of dumplings and really eat it at home. Last time, I also went to this other famous restaurant, Mang Tut, and I really want to go back there. But someone has to recommend me. Guys, this is the restaurant I went to last time, Mang Tut. Yes, yes, anyway. can I ask you a question first? Yeah, sure. Which one is the best banana turon dito sa Espanya? Mang Tut's of course. Mang Tut's yeah. of course. So, have you been there a lot? Yeah, we've eaten there before. Many times? Yes. Student or? Yes, I'm a student from USC. From USC, what's yes. your major? Architecture. Architecture? USC is the most famous for architecture, diba? Right? Yes, so, number one. How were you able to get into USC architecture, the famous architecture course? First, you took the US that, and then I have a drawing exam and then interview before I pass. Thank yeah. you! Best banana turon. Mark Wee came here. Mark Wee, the famous. And then also Erwan also came here. And then Pinasara! I just guessed it in Pinasara. Chicken Puso and Ginger. Puso and Ginger. Hello, Ate. Ate, this is my second time here. Yes. Do you remember me? Yes. yes. My order is Banana Ruma. Banana Ruma. Banana Ruma. Alright, guys, so we're in Mang Tut. I really loved their banana ruma, so I wanted to try it again. It's a turon made with rom. So they dipped in rom, something like that, special kind of turon. And then you sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on top, so it also tastes cinnamony. This is really what you call very wise innovation. It tastes really unique and special, but it tastes so good. You can't really taste the rum at all. It's not alcoholic at all. There's just this like floral, kind of floral scent coming from the rum, I think. And then that mixed with the cinnamon sugar. So it's kind of like floral, but also cinnamon-like and sweet, but it's not too sweet. And you can also taste enough of the banana. And the crust is still so crispy, even if it's like coated with sugar syrup. And then they also sprinkled some sesame seeds. You know those kind of rum cakes from like Western type? And then also the cinnamon sugar kind of dessert. And the Asian, the Oriental sesame seeds dessert. So it's like a mix of all of those, but it tastes good. I saw a bunch of girls with the gram. Love Light. Where's Love Light? Is this Love Light? Oh, where's Love Light? Left here, yeah. and then it's there, nah? Yes. Ow. Thank you! Look, everyone! Hi! Everyone has a love light. Ah! Ah! Found it! Mango Graham! All places we went to today are really university student vibes. Do people really call it Graham? I've never seen anyone say it. Mango Graham. I, the US? Do they even have Graham in the US? Isn't that Filipino? You know, if I tell them, can I have one mango gram? They won't understand. Okay, let's see. Let's see if they're gonna understand gram. The uh, names of the restaurant in this line, it's a bit sugar daddy, love light. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with the restaurant name? Because it's famous. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, yeah, I can tell. So many people. But it's your first time. So you don't know yet how it tastes like. Have you see that one on TikTok? I, it's TikTok famous. Yeah, it's all around. So it's big. You guys are students from? Uh, La Salle. Wait, is La Salle somewhere here? It's kind of further away. Yeah. Where are we? By car. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. just here to visit. We wanted to visit our friend. Yeah. Ah, you're here to visit your friend in USC. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm also from La Salle. Before, oh. elementary school. Oh. Hail, hail, hail. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah. Do you think that also still? Still, still. You, even the college students still do the hand? Yeah. 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 I think so. Wow. La Salle. Animo La Salle. <laughs> Already done? Alright guys, so this is the strawberry bonbon. This came out first. You know, I have big hands. This huge thing for 75 pesos, first of all. That's a really good price. It's so good! I was thinking the strawberry is going to taste a bit artificial strawberry. And it, it does a bit, you know, but it's not like that much of a strong artificial strawberry. It's like kind of like in between. Guys, this thing. What do you call this thing? Oh, oh the Graham Graham ball. <laughs> the Graham ball. Yeah, the Graham balls. Like, where did I see this before? Like, also in school canteen. Yeah, snacks! Wow, there's such a nostalgia. Get sweet. It's sweet now. I'm really quite picky about strawberry flavored things because my favorite fruit is strawberry. And this strawberry milkshake is actually good. Alright guys, so here it is. The famous mango spring. Mm. This is really good too. There's enough graham crackers. Graham crackers? I don't know. Should I really call it graham? Like I love how there are enough grams. Graham crackers in between. Also, the mango. There are like bits of fresh mangoes that adds up to it being much more fresh. Like really refreshing. Honestly, if I could get this quality for 75 pesos, obviously everyone would get it. But always the question is, would you wait more than 30 minutes for this? If you're really the type of person who could like wait. Like I care about efficiency more than my experience. But this one, I would wait a bit because it's Mura also. Up 15 minutes for this. But it's honestly a really well-made shake. Like the texture, it's not too watery, not too much milk. It is the perfect mango gram shake that you could imagine. Alright guys, so my favorito of the long, long and funny episode is... Angkong! Yes, Angkong was the restaurant that I picked when I first came here for the Espanya Street. Again, for the second time, I'm picking Angkong again. Because it was just really, really good. Honestly though, it was really hard to decide among all the other options. You know, the dim sum treats was also good. You know, it's really depending on the preference. And we also passed by dim sum treats on the way and there was still a very long line. Dim sum treats really has a lot of mania. Yeah, also the same goes for Angkong. But for me, really, talaga, like, I like homemade kind of style much more and like less salty kind of style much more. Or simple style. That's why I preferred Angkong better. And Mang Tut. Again, Mang Tut, really a special delicacy you can find only here in España. So that's really good too. And also the last gram. Gram shake for that price, 75 for that. Serving is also one of a kind. But the only tiring thing really of today's episode, I think it was the first time where we waited for this long for each place. Each place we waited more than 30 minutes. Yeah, this is really a very trendy place, Talaga. USC students, FEU students, I'm jealous that you have all these amazing food stalls around your school. This is definitely a place I will come back to for foodie food trips. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Favorito. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.